aware that Mike Tyson's been sort of concerned about the Ferrari over here about this? Obviously he's made, been made aware of what's going on here, but having said that, he was always confident there wasn't going to be a problem, and he is, you know, he, hopefully he's about to land any minute now, and, uh, and, and you can see he's got a, looks like he's got a big or a huge welcoming party for him here. And so as you're concerned, that fight's going to go ahead and nothing can stop Well, that. I've been saying that from day one, you know, everything we've done, we've, all our, all, we've done everything by the book, and as a result of that, that's the reason why he's been allowed in the country. Tyson's arrival in London was chaotic and violent. The media and fans fought to catch a glimpse of the controversial fighter. Here we go again. One minute as we seem to have it under control, next minute it was just like everybody wanted his autograph and touch him and be there. It reminded me of the Beatles going to the States, you know, when the Beatles got off the plane and they were screaming, you know, that sort of thing. It was just, it was just an amazing welcome that you got. Jesus! <laughs> Well, welcome to England, Mike. Thanks, <laughs> mate. Are you OK? Just went mad. I've never seen anything like it in my life. There's so many people here. All the, it was like all the, all the um, baggage handlers. The planes just stopped. Everybody just came out to Tyson. The guy's awesome. I was that close to the guy, man. man his neck, man. His neck's so, so wide, man. Because he's about like shorter than me, but he's like, I touch his arm, yeah. It's like a tree trunk. It's so solid. He's, he's going to wipe the guy on the floor, man. I'll tell you. Well, it was a madhouse, wasn't it? I've never seen uh, anything like it in all my time, certainly in boxing. And uh, I thought, what was, uh, what was, you know, what sort of uh, shows the power of the guy and what, what you know, what Mike Tyson uh, mystique is about him is that the fact that Baby Spice came through, and so did George Michael. Yeah. And I think hardly anybody noticed when he came through. It was just like off at all meetings. He loved it. He loved it. He loved it. I know he did. He was, he was really. He was really. Uh, you know, by the walk and everything, he was, he was so pleased. He bought that over. Oh, he's done? Yeah, that's his, uh, he bought over. Is it fitted all right? Yeah, well, no, it, it was the wrong fitting, but we've made it fit, mm. and he's happy with it. I said, right eye, he said, yeah, brilliant, beautiful. What about the only uh, thing I've got to try and get in the morning is a bloody great big, he wants a 200 pound bag, he doesn't want a water bag. He says, you'll split that. Have you seen the size of the Gatto Blaster? That yeah. says you... The Gatto Blaster? <laughs> the Gatto Blaster. He's trainer bought it in this afternoon. One of his, uh, one of his crew. I mean, that's why he's got 30 over here. One has to carry the ghetto blast around, and you want to see him, he's about 35 stone, he's enormous. Justice for Women is objecting to the decision to let him into the country because of the boxer's conviction for rape. Let me make it very clear, we are against any uh, stringent and racist immigration laws and we have plenty of them and in fact the people who really should be allowed into this country on compassionate grounds, many people seeking refuge and asylum, often are turned away, that's a disgrace, and that Jack Straw should intervene to, to you know, welcome this man with open arms. Is, is really something that many women in this country, and many men, can't understand. The attempt to stop Tyson fighting was a failure. The appeal was rejected. He was in the gym, converted ballroom at a central London hotel from the very first day. His condition perfect. His friends and Muslim brothers at his side. I love my brother. I love bringing you back to the top of the world. I love bringing you back to the top of the world. Custom Mole's mentor bring him back to the top of the world. The hypocrites are trying to bring him down. But he represents to us, the Muslim brothers, the true meaning of what the people want. Right. 
tell you that. He said, I mean, this took a month like 12 hours. 16 hours yeah. Tell me about England. That was an incredible coming into the airport there. I've seen royalty coming and it's never ever been like that. Well, I'm far from um, royalty, please trust me, but I guess I'm, you know, I'm just objective, you know what I mean? Um, I'm, there's Mike and there's Tyson. That, at the airport was Tyson, you know what I mean? I'm Tyson at that particular moment, you know. I don't know if I'm proud of it or um, depressed, you know, I'm, I'm Tyson. You know, Tyson and Mike are two different entities. You know, Tyson doesn't interfere with Mike's personal life at all. Now tell me about your training. You've, you've obviously done some sparring this morning. How's it going? You pleased with it? Not bad. You know, I have fast sparring partners. Perhaps a lot faster than the gentleman that I'm fighting, but um, I'm just looking forward to the fight. Normally, I like to say some real um, brutal, murderous things, but you know, me being on parole, I think I'd be very kind because I guess the woman lived probably won't let me back in the country this time. They have some um, velocity to say I shouldn't be here. Then, if I say what I truly want to do to Mr. Francis. What do you think about all that controversy? Well, I don't know what to say, you know what I mean? Everybody have their plight, and um, nobody knows what those women been through. Maybe they've been abused most of their life by men, and they directly point their anger at every man, and generally that doesn't um, play into their basic stereotype as a gentleman. People are never what they appear to be. Don't care who they are, royalty or what. No one's ever what they appear to be. We know, no one knows anybody. There's a lot of things going on, y'all. The press seem to judge people incredibly, don't they? I don't know. Most most writers, in my opinion, my opinion, are dysfunction derelicts. You know what I mean? Who going to talk about fighting? Let's see what they did. Who did they screw ever? Who did they actually fornicate with or whatever? Are they homosexuals? What are they? Who are judging them? They could throw everything they want at me because I'm a man. I could take anything. I've been at the bottom. I've been as low as any man could ever be. And if you think, if this is going to break me up, a bunch of little um, you want to be... Um, um, Polly White retard for, um, retard photographers or writers could break my spirit, never. I've been there. I'm not saying I've been in jail, I'm a hardcore. No, because there's a bunch of homosexuals, a bunch of fags, a bunch of weak people in jail. And the reason why people go to jail because they don't have their shit in check. And they're not, um, they can't manage their life. So that don't mean you're a bad guy because you're in jail. It means you're pretty, pretty much a dysfunctional, weak individual and can't manage your life outside in the world. Keep everybody together. We got, we got the Sarches, yeah? Yeah, but we need to uh, go look at this car first. Well, why don't we do that? Go to the Sarches first and do that on the way back to near the hotel. I'll get yeah. rid of these people. You understand? All right, go on, let's go. Yeah. Car first. I know Yo, you play with first. crack, the drug crack. Yeah, that's your car. Same as me, yeah. don't worry. You can't you're take like a me. crack at it and then say, let's go. All right. Let's go get some marijuana <laughs> and then we're going to come and get the crack later. I go, let's pay a clip and we'll come back tomorrow. You grab a ticket off the car. Right. Yeah. Can you give me a card? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Just so I make sure I do it, because we're going to go into places and I don't want to be, be leaving any bills anywhere. <laughs> It's incredible, the crowd's following you around everywhere you go. I don't know what the hell's going on out here, man. I'm just here to fight and do well. Well, it's better than following me than not following me. When they stop talking about you, then you have a problem. These sapphires, each one has to be cut in. And each stone is cut exactly the same as the next one. So they just slip into each other. It's invisibly set. It's truly a work of art. Please explain to him. He needs to know. I know this. 47 carats of beautiful diamonds. I've been all over the world, and I've bought diamonds all over the world, and I'm truly impressed here. I must say one thing. Mike's got a great knowledge of diamonds. He's not just uh, a boxing man. He's a man that seems to have studied diamonds, in my opinion, because each rare stone I've shown him, he's known about. I know a little bit about everything. I don't know a lot about anything. Yeah, but you know quite a bit about diamonds, Mike. That's for sure. Yeah. Let's, let's have a look, a look on the wrist. Nice, beautiful diamond and beautiful, beautiful black skin. Can you divulge the, the cost of this, Mike? 
Excuse me? Can you divulge the cost of this one? I only allow him to do this. Million. This is, this is big money. This is big money. Top of the line. But more than the watch? Huh? More this, than the watch. Oh, yes. This is top of the line stuff. This is big stones. Big stones. That's great. Wow. What a piece. What well, a piece. More money the British government have earned from white tie. Yes, to more money. That's right. Yeah. Absolutely. And they want me out of here. Yeah. Women, people, spend spend women, we don't want you out of here. We want you to I stay here. I want to stay here too. This <laughs> <laughs> is the most beautiful watch in the world. Graph watch, y'all. Lawrence Graph, y'all. That's right. It's a million dollar watch. You don't Do you get any discount, right? Huh? No. Not much of a discount here in England. Try this. Having fun, got money, fun. What comes that? Maybe blue. Oh, I don't need blue, I need green. <laughs> but try it. No, no. I, this is just to put with a sweater like this or a shirt under, not a big sweater. You want to give me a green one like this? No. I can do. Let me see that green one. You know, it's better to try. I think it's okay, no? Oh, you do? Yo, it's so. It doesn't color. fit, it won't fit. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, it's not my fault, it's your muscle. <laughs> it looks good on me though, it doesn't look tight, right? How does it look on me? <laughs> How you doing, Handy? Is that a little? <laughs> hey, little How are you thrilled. Doing, okay? He will be thrilled. Thank you, it's nice speaking to you as well. I hope you come to the fight and enjoy the fight. It's Henry. Okay. Yes. Are you going to let him come to the fight? It's too small. Okay. You take care, Henry. Thanks. Much is. Why do you not try this? It's very nice. Well, Mike, you don't like it. You want to pack my stuff up? Yes, yes, yes. yes. The reason he's as crowded is because your security, Not rightly security, or wrongly, sir. the security has a rat so right. Protect him from what? As you quite rightly said, this is a mob. Fools who don't know how to respect the wishes of him not wanting his picture taken. No, you can't finish. Stay back or get knocked down. I'm telling you now, you guys are very disrespectful. If you stay back, we will open up and let you take the picture. But if you don't, we're going to close him down and you guys do get nothing. It's simple as that. This one, yeah? Just drop out of the convoy, please. Thank you. That's it.
The visit to Brixton had been in doubt. Lambeth Council told Tyson to stay away. He wanted to go, following Nelson Mandela and Muhammad Ali into the streets of South London. so much for the councillors. <laughs> One day these people are going to get in touch with the people. You know, it's what the people want. Um, no demonstrations against it. People, uh, you, know, you keep reading some of the stuff in the paper, but, you know, the people, these are the people. And, uh, and they want it. They really love it. Doesn't lie, does it? It doesn't lie. It doesn't lie. Now. That's really, yeah, no, no, it's not armoured, but it has things. No, no, come on, let's get in the van, let's get in the van, not go through. Let him have control. Take some control, mate. Take some control, otherwise we'll be inciting something. Let's keep going, we'll do it. I know you should. I can't stand the same pace. Good luck, Mike. Thank you, mate. Okay. Duck down from that window, Mike. Duck down. They can't be there to see you coming out. See this? This wouldn't even make good laboratory paper. These people are the most lovely. God's put breath in. There was no scuffles, there was no trouble. Indeed, if there's any scuffles, the press were the people showing scuffles, and God knows how many journalists there on mobile phones inside a you know, outside the mosque, showing no respect to people praying, whatever. These guys are scumbags, they're slime. And what I'm gonna do on Monday, I will have the family here, I'm gonna represent it in the mosque and I'll let them tell you how it is. A lot of the stories that are appearing, certainly in the news side of the newspapers are just getting out of hand and totally and utterly untrue. The Evening Standard has run a campaign here in London for the last week, which I think is borders on racism at times. You know, to say that Mike Tyson shouldn't be in this, and his people shouldn't be in the uh, in this hotel. You know, it's like saying, let's keep, uh, let, and I hate to use this word, but I'm going to use it, like, let's keep the niggers out. That's how it sounds. It's the most horrible form of racism I've read. Um, we've also had a couple of uh, newspapers book girls into the hotels. They booked them in hotels trying to compromise Mike Tyson, trying to 
push girls towards him. Uh, he's not interested in girls. He's not interested in girls here. He's working on business. He has a wife. He has children. And it's, again, it's disgraceful that people try to create news by doing that. Finally, I'd like to get on to the which I think is one of the worst things that's happened, is the mosque incident. These, these gentlemen obviously were at the mosque, and you know, this man is the, actually, the most senior person from the mosque. There was nothing abnormal. Everything was going as usual, as happening every Friday. I'm leading the prayer, the old people praying in the mosque, and the mass as usual. When they then told that Mr. Tyson praying, uh, they were very happy to see him, nothing at all abnormal happened in the mosque. For that I was surprised when I heard that. The scenes of excess continued when Tyson arrived in Manchester, venue for the fight. It was the story of his visit, wild crowds screaming for a piece of Tyson. Fight, sir! Two days in a wake-up! It's guerrilla warfare, you know what he got coming. He gonna get knocked out! Knocked out! I heard that. Come on, man. All right, yeah. Get it up. Come on. Guerrilla warfare. <laughs> Tyson is coming. He's coming. <laughs> I've been waiting on you, you media. You understand? He who without sin cast the first stone. That's right. Like Shakespeare said, to be or not to be. That is the question. He's never oh, smile no, across the time. <laughs> no, he's, good. he's all right. He's, he's doing his job. He's the greatest fighter of our era. You ain't seen a fighter like that since Ali. You're a fin lip lizard. Get on that treadmill. You're a fin lip lizard. Get on that treadmill. Yeah, you need your That's what you need, you need that treadmill. Well, good morning uh, again, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to our little soiree here in Manchester. We've got the big fight now. It's a fight that's got unprecedented publicity in this country. And that's all because of Mike Tyson. To my right, we've got the British champion, former Commonwealth champion, Julius Francis. Later, Tyson left the hotel in a hurry and went to the airport. It was just 24 hours before the fight. There were claims that he was going back to America and that the big fight was off. Went to the airport to meet one of his relations. Anybody thought that time he was pulling out? He was going back to America? No, 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 no absolutely not. There's rumours for you. I've seen it all before. I just smiled to myself. We're in an hour to come back in again with the entourage. Fantastic sight. What's Unbelievable. It what's it all about? Well, it's just a fight game. You don't know what's gone off. But tomorrow night in Manchester, you know, it'll be one of the greatest nights for British boxing. What's the difference between me and you? He's going 13 and 3 quarter pounds. Who's that that makes it nice and soft for when uh, Mr. Francis goes down. Who's the bucket of store? Is that the same one that Tyson's going to be using? Yeah. They've tried to nick them afterwards. Especially the stalls. Remember when we did Cardiff Arms Park, Bruno and Lewis? Yeah. Someone said, hey, there goes one of our stalls, and this bloke was just walking out the ground with a bloody stall, nicked the stall. They nicked the bell. We, we lost the bell there. Eubank Collins, oh, Eubank Collins, they was doing everything. They wanted the boards off the ring, the whole bloody shooting match. Everything disappeared that night. Boxing news! They fell down at Tyson, that's getting heads warm. Oh, Jesus died to save Tyson, didn't he? And you, and me. Frank, tell me how you feel. I'd just be pleased when it's all over. I'm looking actually looking forward to going to the uh, show and watching the fights. Because once you, you know, once they're in the ring, you know, your job's more or less done. I think it'll be Mike Tyson as soon as he hits him on the chin in one or two rounds. I think he, I think Mike is he looks good and I think he will destroy it. He 
If he knocks him out in one, they're going to say he fought a bomb. If he takes it five rounds and do real work, they're going to say he didn't look good. So he ain't going to win the press battle regardless. So as long as he win the fight, that's all I care about. Frank Andy get, gets a call up the box office because Errol Brown is up there, the singer of Hot Chocolate, and hasn't got a ticket and wants to get in. So when he gets up there, it's Marvin Agler. That's great. That's great. <laughs> After two months, the wait for Warren, 21,000 people in the arena, and the fighters themselves was almost over. Fight time. Let's go. Let's go. Muslim and um, I fall short of the mark all the time, but just all praise the Allah that I try my best and he understands. And tell me what you think of England. Have you had a good time here? Oh, I love England, but I want England to no, know. I, I want to be their brother. I want to be, I want to be able to embrace them. I don't want to be able to run from them. I don't want them to chase me. They, if I'm their brother, especially the Muslim brother, they can't cover me. You know what I mean? All praise be to Allah. Allah says something to the effect, don't cover your brother. Let him be free. Give him his life and let him disperse. Just be my brother. I just want the people in England, especially the Muslims, to just be my brother and see me shake my hand, discuss business or whatever with me, then just let us disperse and go our ways. There's no need to glom around me. I'm just their brother. We have no we have no superiors in Islam. We're all equal. Whoa, twelve years ago that was made. The man that shot that, the man that filmed that was a guy called Dave Varley. We spent about four weeks in Tyson's company from the moment he landed to the moment he left. But mostly it was Varley. I mean and he just got incredibly close i think mean, that's a gem that i really do i think that's one of those overlooked gems and you know what i like about it it was just two people working it not a big big crew of people with clipboards talking cobblers no just me and dave Varley. fantastic Brilliant. 